He gave people decaf coffee at Starbucks. Former Starbucks employee admits he used to give decaf to unsuspecting customers who were rude to him or pronounced croissant with a French accent. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. The article further says, TikTok user at Dalton admitted in a viral video that when he worked at a Starbucks in Florida five years ago, he would swap customers' orders with decaf. He said he'd do it when they were rude, but also just because he felt like it. He also boasted that he'd punish customers with decaf if they pronounced the word croissant like a French person would. Some commenters have blasted him for the behavior, though he has insisted that anyone who is mad is stupid. Unfortunately, the main video around the controversy has been removed, but we do have videos Dalton has made of the backlash he has received. Let's watch the craziness. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I don't work there. It's been like five years. I would have decaf your ass too, bitch. But you probably get strawberry frappuccinos. Because you're a child, you're a literal child. Hey, so for anybody new here today, I do comedy. I make jokes, not controversial jokes. So why is everybody mad about a joke about Starbucks? Y'all are know that there are actual Nazis on this app? and clansmen and pedophiles yet you're upset with somebody over decaf coffee that's what you're choosing to spend your day doing but i'm getting paid for all your comments yeah this guy's a total sociopath did you did you hear he gave people decaf coffee at starbucks that's worse than murder that's worse than racism that's worse than anything minutes to respond to all these people who are mad first off you're all stupid if you're mad it was a joke second off there are zero medical conditions that require you to have coffee zero no medical conditions require you to have coffee not for, like everybody was saying they have headaches they need coffee no there are these things in your body called adenosine adenosine receptors they get blocked by caffeine those receptors keep your arteries open. With them blocked, they close. In your brain, when they close, if you have a headache, you might feel relief for a short amount of time because it, your arteries compressed. There's a little bit more, more room for inflammation. But then when the inflammation goes back out, you have a headache. Second, the heart. Caffeine is not good for your heart in any situation. If you have heart issues, it's the same thing. Your receptors get blocked, your arteries close, your body starts to overcompensate. It's not good for your heart. You don't drink coffee if you have heart issues. There is only one sort of headache, a hypnic headache, that is common among elderly people that doctors will suggest, not prescribe, that you drink one cup before bed. That's it. Otherwise, you'd get ergotamine. It's a medicine. A lot of times it has caffeine mixed into it. The ergotamine keeps your receptors open so your arteries stay open so your blood flows well and the caffeine helps the blood flow. They work together as opposed to the caffeine just closing your arteries. So for everybody saying that their doctor prescribes them coffee, you were gaslighting. I just blew it out. These girls that were gaslighting about the headache thing called a girl in a wheelchair or, uh, these girls who were gaslighting about the headache thing called a girl in a wheelchair in the comments an ableist a girl in the wheelchair because she said they were being ridiculous and if they actually cared about ableism they would help her get into buildings and like build ramps and they called her an ableist lastly well, not lastly but samira uh, a writer for the daily dot wrote an article about it and she cut the joke in half to make it seem serious to scare old people online. Samira, you are a joke of a journalist. I want you to think about that when you're laying in bed tonight. Look up at the ceiling and say, I am an absolute joke of a journalist. Also, Titty Titty Milk, the original poster. She didn't do anything wrong. 
everybody was mean to her because they found out that I'm not going to get bothered by it. You guys are all assholes. All of you. Oh, I feel relieved. Uh, TikTok removed my decaf video. I didn't remove it. TikTok did. And that's okay. Y'all are absolutely insane. The angry people. The people who followed me from this, who understand that I make jokes. You guys are great. Thanks for... In my opinion, this is hilarious to see that people get angry and start throwing insults and hate at this guy for giving people decaf coffee. I assume that people can't even tell the difference. I know I can't. Good thing he doesn't work there anymore, and he seems to be doing well to not take all the insults personal. I think social media is a tool that can give millions of people a voice instantly. How they use that voice is an entirely different topic. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.